what I'm going to talk to you and show you in this video is about 70 volt speakers and 70 volt speaker systems. These are systems that you can find in office buildings, warehouse stores, grocery stores, places like Walmart, Canadian Tire, Home Depot, all kinds of stuff. Essentially how it works is it's different than a standard stereo amp or an amplifier in that it outputs 70 volts. Not constantly 70 volts, but it does output up to it, depending on how loud your amp is, how many speakers are hooked up, etc., etc. Now, I'm going to show you the speaker I have here. This is a typical 70 volt speaker. It has a transformer here, and um, basically right here, you'd have the 70 volt lines. You have your common here, and then this, these three other lines, they call them taps. You would basically hook up one of the wires to whatever wattage you would want this speaker to run at. Is it 5 watts, 10 watts, 20 watts? Other speakers or transformers have different wattage settings. You know, they have uh, max to 4 watts. I think 70 volt transformers that I read, the max they have is up to 30 watts. And yeah. So basically, how does this system work? The amplifier has a transformer, which is about the size of my fist, inside it, or you can get an external one. What it does is it takes the audio signal and it boosts it into voltage. Now, this voltage is too high for the speaker to handle itself, so that's why the speaker needs a transformer. So it takes that higher voltage and it lowers it to the voltage and current that the speaker can actually handle. Because if you were to connect the speaker directly to 70 volts from the 70 volt amp or transformer, um, which is up converting it, uh, it would it would wreck the speaker. It would damage the speaker because it's too high for it to handle. Why you would use this is because you can do things like you can run higher gauge wire. You can run. 24 gauge wire which is um, telephone cable stuff like that far distances and you can hook up as basically as many speakers as your amp is rated for so let's say you have a hundred watt 70 volt amp and you have 10 10 watt speakers um, you can hook those up to 100 watts but what they actually say because 10 times 10 is 100, so then 10 speakers, and then if you want to hook up more of these speakers, you'd need a higher wattage amp. Now, what they do say is they say give it 25% uh, room, so I would recommend more hooking up maybe 8 or 9 10-watt speakers. Now, if you, let's say, have other speakers like um, two 5-watt speakers, then you add them up. You basically take all the speaker... Uh, wattages that you want to use and going back to the speaker instead of the speaker wattage just take the wattage you want to use your tap at so let's go back to you having a hundred watt amp so you want to hook them up at 20 watts well then you can only hook up five speakers you know 20 40 60 80 100 five times 20 is 100 well let's say you want to hook up 10 then you would basically go to the next tab, which would be 10 watts. So then you can have 10 speakers as opposed to 5. Now, essentially, using a 70-volt system works better than a standard stereo because if you hook up other speakers, like more than two speakers per channel to your, let's say, your, your home stereo or just a normal amplifier, it can damage it because of speaker impedance mismatching. Like if you connected two speakers in parallel that were 8 ohms, it would go down to 4 ohms, which most amps can handle if it's an 8 ohm amp. But if you're to hook up another speaker or two more, then it would damage the amplifier because the ohms would be too low. The same with if you connect them in series, like negative positive and negative positive, Two 8 ohm speakers connected in series would be 16 ohms. Um, anything higher can damage the amplifier. So, what the 70 volt system allows you to do is basically put a bunch of speakers that you want to hook up 
and you don't have to worry about doing speaker impedance matching. Now, speaker impedance matching is where you take a bunch of speakers you want to hook up, sit there or whatever, calculate the ohms of the speaker and stuff like that, and then you would connect the speakers in, in series of parallel and series as well to match your rating of the amp, which would be 8 ohms. So if you want to hook up, let's say, I think this is math. See, this is where you would rather, you'd want to use a 70 volt system over using, doing speaker impedance matching because it can get a little confusing. You have two speakers. Let's say you want to hook up four speakers to your amp on one channel. Well, speaker one and two would have to be connected in series and then three and four would have to be connected in series and then those two pairs that are connected in series would have to connect to parallel to bring it back down to eight ohms it sounds confusing it probably is for the most part especially when you want to add let's say 10 speakers or whatever if you don't do impedance matching you're going to wreck your amp so then using 70 volt system will help take the confusion down you just basically connect the line you want and you can go a pretty far distance with high gauge wire and yeah so that's essentially a 70 volt system um and yeah that's what it is basically in a nutshell hopefully this video wasn't too confusing uh if you have any questions <laughs> leave a comment in the video or email us questions at magintech.net. I try to answer as many questions as I can, and I do look at all the comments on the videos we have. And uh, if you liked our video here that you just seen, why not subscribe to our YouTube channel today at youtube.com forward slash macintech. We are also on Twitter at twitter.com forward slash macintech. And check out our website at macintech.net. Hopefully you enjoyed this video and it wasn't too confusing. I'm sure many people are looking at this going, I don't, I don't understand. Um, but 70 volt is simpler than impedance matching and things like that. And it's not really expensive. It's almost about the same. And um, things you might want to consider when installing a 70 volt system or why you'd want to install a 70 volt system is things like, you know, how many speakers you want and putting them in different rooms you can hook up things like attenuators which is like a volume control for it for each location and things like that and and yeah 70 volt system is what you want to do if you have a big commercial building and you want to wire up speakers and stuff for a pa and things like that so yeah well we'll chat at you later